All right, how you guys doing today? This is Fred Michael Shane. This is my uh, review on, on Transformers Rise of the Beast. Um, so the storyline is uh, the Maximals. If you guys are familiar with the Transformers, if you guys aren't, uh, there was a Generation 1 Transformers that came out in the 80s. And then in the 90s, there was uh, what was called uh, Beast Wars, Transformers Beast Wars. And then uh, Beast Wars... Transformers, uh, Crash Land, um, on what was come to find out, uh, prehistoric Earth. So, um, they, um, not all the Transformers are like, uh, Megatron's, Ultronosaurus Rex, there's Dinobot, he's a raptor, uh, a rhino, uh, he's a good guy, uh, Rhinox. Um, there's, uh, like an, Inferno, he's an ant. There was a uh, Scorpionox, he's a scorpion, obviously. Uh, rat Trap, he's a rat. Uh, so there's a lot of like, um, some of them aren't prehistoric animals. Uh, obviously, we saw rhinos and scorpions and rats. Um, but there was, of course, you know, dinos and uh, dinosaurs and stuff like that. And they looked at, obviously, T Rexes aren't around, and neither are raptors. So the whole plot of the movie is the uh dino no the um in in beast wars okay well let me go back excuse me i'm all over the place now um transformers the autobots are the good guys the Decepticons are the bad guys in beast wars it was the maximals who are the good guys and the descendants of the autobots and the predacons who are the Descendants of the Decepticons and bad guys. So, um, basically, what it is is the Maximals are. As it's on nineteen, it takes place in nineteen ninety four. So this is in between um, the Bumblebee movie that came out a couple of years ago and um, the very first Transformers movie that came out in two thousand seven. Um, under uh, the, the Michael Bay, the Michael Bay movie, which is this this uh, Rise of the Beast is not directed by um, Michael Bay. So the the plot is the Maximals now on are on Earth, and they are trying to fight off um, these people called the Terracons, who are looking for a key to allow Unicron. On uh, to come to Earth and, and eat it up. Um, if you're not familiar with um, Transformers lore, uh, Unicron is robot form and a, it's a giant planet eats other planets. It's it's the Transformers. If you're familiar with the Fantastic Four and Galactus, Unicron is kind of like Galactus. Um, I really enjoyed this movie and I really enjoyed a lot it, it a lot better than a lot of um, a lot of the younger ones uh, the ones before um, and I think there was a lot of I could go into a whole up and down on each of the last five there was a lot of pros a lot of cons on those those five uh, Michael Bay movies. But I like this one a lot better. Um, first of all, number one, I, I do I will say what I uh, like about it was uh, Unicron was his own, you know, entity. Um, if you, if it's gonna be some spoilers in this, if you hadn't seen or if you had seen uh, the last Michael Bay Transformers movie, The Last Night, which had uh, Mark Wahlberg. Um, in it, uh, Earth happened to be like Unicron uh, for some, some I've, I've now forgotten what <laughs> reason. I'm about to go back and see the movie, but like why Unicron? I think it was uh, the Quincetas had made Earth uh, Unicron in case it got out. And you didn't see uh, Unicron in this, you know, I guess you could say his full glory. If you aren't familiar, he's got two horns. You know, uh, in, the, in the last night, the horns were coming out of out of the earth. 
and um, yeah, so they really killed that character off, made it stupid, but um, so I thought the movie was a lot better than the, a lot of the stuff in the Michael Bay movie, uh, Michael Bay universe. Um, I liked how they brought out the Massimals. Uh, they brought out Rhinox. They brought out Cheetor. They brought out uh, Optimus Prime. They also brought um, the Bird Azrael. I think her name was. I forget. They didn't bring out any really anybody else. Uh, they didn't bring out any of the uh, Predacons. There was no uh, Megatron as a T Rex or Dinobot or Scorpion. There was there were some forms of Scorpionauts, but it wasn't Beast Wars Scorpionauts. Um, there was yeah nobody really else as um, Beast War characters. Um, so that was kind of a con. Uh, I was hoping to see more. Uh, but, hey, you know, at least they got the Massimals. They're talking about making this a trilogy. So hopefully they do make it a trilogy and uh, maybe we'll see more. Um, maybe more of Unicron. Um, or if they bring out other uh, other villains of, of out of the lore, they do it correctly. Um, there was a lot of... Uh, crapping on the uh lore for michael uh michael bay i'll say it like that but um i enjoyed it uh i'll give it eight out of ten stars uh the there was no real decepticons uh there was like three terracons that were to put it gently or nicely it was it was um going back to like galactus galactus always had like a herald like the silver surfer go check out the planets they had, uh, Unicron had three, uh, uh, excuse me, three heralds, three heralds to go check, they were the, the, some kind of villains, and, um, I enjoyed it, I really liked it, I thought it was a really good movie, like I said, it was pretty much better than a lot of, um, the Michael, Michael Bay movies, um, if you're, uh, if you're an old school Transformer fa fan, or a Beast Wars fan like myself, check it out. You'll like it. Um, if you like the Michael Bay movies, check it out. You'll probably still like it. Um, if you hate it, you can skip it. You know, you know whatever. Um, so if you guys want to leave comments on how how you guys like the movie or not, just let me know. Keep it keep it peaceful. And all that good stuff. And I got some more reviews coming up later. Alright, you guys have a nice day. You guys take care. Peace to the world.